Hello Rebel and welcome back to my life and welcome to Oregon Winter. I'm currently in a little town called Astoria in the north of Oregon. Actually very far to the north of Oregon. It's on the border. This right behind me is the Columbia River. And way across the river, that land over there in the distance, that is Washington State. I've been all around the U.S. so this is not the first time that I've seen a river that actually forms a border between states, but it's the first time in a long time and the first time since I've really started thinking about things like that. Recently I've been doing a lot of work on the maps of Underrealm, the actual layout of the kingdoms and how they all relate to each other and how they're bordered and the geography and all that kind of thing. And it's just given me a kind of appreciation for how things came to be the way they are, the way that the states are laid out and like why the borders are where they are. A lot of it's arbitrary, some of it's not. There's a great video, or maybe it was an article that I saw once, and I think it was by John and Hank, but it might not have been, especially if it was an article. I'll try to link it in the description even though that's extremely vague of a description. And it talked about the problems of borders even when it seems like you have a pretty clear-cut border, like a river, right? But then like even a river as a border can have major problems. But then based on the more or less arbitrary decision of where the border is, people on either side of that border make very clear-cut distinctions about themselves and about what their location means when it comes to their identity. And we have a lot of that going on in America right now. Like a very common narrative since Trump won the election is that people on the coasts don't pay enough attention to people in the middle of the country. But even in the middle of the country, you got Colorado, a state which is pretty reliably democratic, surrounded by a bunch of states that are decently reliably not. But I haven't heard anybody give a very compelling argument about why the middle of the country, which is much less populous, should be able to have such a disproportionately high amount of influence in the lives of people who do live on the coasts where there are much more people. Many more people, much more people. Have I mentioned I write books? It's getting colder the longer I stay out here, so I'm putting my hood up for a little bit of extra warmth. Check these guys out, by the way. They're just chilling. They're just hanging out, having a good time. And that makes it sound like the best solution is what some people think the original intent was, was that all of the power went straight to the states. But if that was the case, we would, like, maybe still have slavery and would probably definitely still have segregation. So honestly, I don't know what the best solution is. I'm trying to speak out on issues where I feel like I have a pretty clear idea of what's right, or at least what's more right or more correct than what we've got right now. But my certainty is feeling less and less certain these days. Like, I'm trying to apply a blanket rule across the entire length of a border that, frankly, just doesn't accept blanket rules very easily. I and some dozens of sea lions or seals or walruses, wildlife isn't really my thing, are standing in the middle of the Columbia River. So who gets to decide what rights I get to have and what rights my children get to have and how high my taxes are? Is it the state on that side of the river? or on that side of the river. And before you say, oh, well, you're standing on a dock that's still connected to Oregon, so pretty clearly it's Oregon. Well, on the actual map of the two that's drawn, I have already crossed the border. In some ways, I feel like a lot of the country is sitting in the middle of a river right now, waiting for one shore or the other to tell them what they are and are not allowed to do and have and own. And that level of uncertainty and anxiety and distress is just not super healthy. It's not making a lot of people feel very good right now, and. I don't think it's exactly what anybody wants. And I wish I had the answer for you, but right now I just want to get back to dry land. Thank you for watching, Rebel. I will see my $5 patrons with a Writer Wednesday video on Wednesday, and I will see the rest of you on Friday. Bye!